You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Thank you for taking time out of your day, hopefully to enjoy this video and learn more about these maker sets. Now, the one on the right, I've already shown on video. And if you're new to the channel, I have a huge collection of vintage sets like this. Probably the largest collection in the world. And I'm continuing to add to it every time I find something new. Now, I was saying the one on the right, that has a video. It's called the Hasbro Fizzies Fountain Make Instant Drinks. And the one on the left is the one I'm going to show you today, the Frosty Freeze Ice Creamer. Now, there's other versions of that. And I've done similar sets, but this one's unique because it's from Hasbro. And I've never done one of these particular sets. Now, if you look at both artworks, that's why I brought the second box out. They're very similar. And you can tell probably the same artist's made these boxes. Actually, the little boy with the blue shirt looks like the same artwork for the most part, just colored a little bit differently. His fingers are both pointing like, I'll take two ice creams. And then you have the little boys on the left, each with a puppy dog. So it's very similar, the yellow counter, the background, one is blue, one is red. Uh, and uh, that's why I bring these boxes out and keep them in my collection so that I can show them to you. And let me do this. Now that we've seen the fronts of the box, the sides have a little more artwork on them. Let's check those out, see what they look like. All right, here's the bottom panel on both boxes. The Hasbro on the right has a little Hasbro character with a Hasbro script logo. The one on the left is this HB with Hasbro in the rounded oval. And this one's got a number of 5200 by 300, and the other one is 5225 by 350. I'm not sure what they're trying to tell us there. Almost maybe the dimensions of the box. I'm not really sure. So let's turn it this way. All right. So this one says, Frosty Freeze Ice Creamer. Have fun making delicious ice creams, ices, sherbets, and custards. And the fizzy one says, Fun for boys and girls. Takes just seconds to make delicious sparkling drinks. Okay, that's a repeat panel. And then that's a repeat panel. So let's just see if they... Follow the same protocol here, yep. All right. So that is the box. Uh, underside of the box is just these white uh, cardboard boxes underneath them. So let me do this. Let me show you inside both boxes. Okay, as you can see, some uh, very similar packing. This here is actually the support to keep the box lid from pushing on that, but it's also a design of a cool looking scene. Both of them have that. I'll show you that in just a second. Similar that they're both white and red as far as the plastics are going. And then they do have uh, extra items. Like this has some kind of cool shake. Make chocolate shakes. I don't know what this is. It's not original to the set. That's what I know. And then both had their instructions. This one had this little extra fizzy pack in it. Sometimes you find these sets and you'll find other stuff in them that don't really belong, but it's still cool that they were from the same era. All right, so let me do this. Before I show you this one specifically, I'm going to play a little video of that one, and when I come back, I'm just going to show you these two cardboard inserts because they're a pretty cool scene. So watch this little video of how this one works, and I'll be right back. Take that out. Water first. Pay attention. And there you go. Okay. Plastic filter thingy. Now this time, uh, doesn't like it upside down. It fell in upside down and then, there we go. Two tablets, okay. These tablets are gonna fit much better. Yes, that looks like the perfect tablet. Do you think those other ones started this size and turned out to be giant just from drying and Sit. Ooh, that smells good. Root beer. Okay. Seat cap tight. All right. Two minutes. I have flipped. Something is happening. I'll be back in a few.
All right, I'm not sure if you noticed, but there was a bunch of bubbling up there, and I kind of missed it on an extreme close-up. But I'm ready. I have a glass, remember now, filled to the line. I double-checked the line thinking, hmm, what is the line? And it is the line. It shows you right there. That is the water line. And it does say you could add ice. Let's see. Now, this one is leaking under pressure, too. Interesting. All right, let's just see what happens when we press it. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That one worked pretty good. Let me uh, take a little sniff. Now, I'm not seeing syrup. Anybody else uh, seeing syrup? No syrup here. It just looks like a clear liquid. Let's see. I do really think that's cool how it works, though. Was I supposed to show you that? Yes, I was. Yeah, it's quite a bit under pressure. Isn't there a song, Under Pressure? That's what I keep thinking when I, every time I say Under Pressure. All right. All right, as I was taking this one out of the box, it does look like it's a tile floor, doesn't it? So everything would be put in here and presented so that it looked like you had the little ice cream shop. And then the two different uh, cardboard cutouts. This one's a little thinner because this one needed to support the box to give it room for that ice cream maker. Very much the same in regards to the artwork, the way the yellow is down here. The banners at the top are the, you know, the top of the awning is red and white on this one and yellow and white on that one. And since this one was thicker, I guess they had more creative freedom with the people. These are kind of scrunched way down and they're chilling and having a good time. Let's see. Let me just bring you in a little bit closer. We can see they're all enjoying their ice cream and their beverages. And this guy here is pretty much the same. Slightly different, but artwork does look similar. All right, so there you go. Pretty cool to see. I don't see any art artist signature on them, which they should have done. They should have let the artist sign them so we know who actually did these, but we'll never know. Maybe somebody does. Let me move on now. Let's get out the set and learn about it, how to set it up, and we'll continue on with the process. Okay, so in the box is this Hasbro ice cream maker. It says right on the top, Hasbro ice cream maker. And then this flips up. That's where you're going to put the cylinder in to actually chill your dessert. And this little device is what extracts the ice cream from the actual middle chamber. Now they tell you what all the parts are, so we'll be as specific as possible because we are learning. I've done uh, quite a few different ice cream makers like this one. Here is the inner chamber. Let's see. Let's just go with what they say. Oh, this. Let me move this here. Let's move this here. Okay, those are the pieces that came with it. All right, so. Oh, this is the inner cylinder. This is called the scoop. The handle, which is over here. And then the cover, which is what you saw me flip up earlier. So there's not much to it. Basically, you're filling this cylinder with salt and ice cubes and sometimes a little water. And that's what's actually going to cool what's spinning around this. So this is going to spin. And then it's touching in the little chamber down here. Here, I'll show you. So down here is where you're going to pour your beverage. So I need to clean this out, by the way. And this is going to go in here once I get it set. And then you're spinning. And then it's going to build up on here. And then you scoop it in to your actual cup there. It had the original cups with it. And the little wooden spoons, I guess you'd call them. And then, uh, let me see. What else do I want to show you? you know, let me just put this up. But move it out of the way just a little. Let's bring in these instructions. Okay, so it's simple. You can make dozens of delicious frozen treats with your ice creamer. All you need is salt, ice cubes, or chopped ice, one of many mixes or a variety of soft drinks. Just follow these simple instructions. Note the various parts of your ice cream maker and accessories. See illustration. So they have a measuring cup, plus ice, plus salt, plus mix equals that, a luscious dessert. Open the hinge cover of your ice creamer and remove the cylinder. Unscrew the large metal cap. 
See illustration two. Fill the cylinder with as many ice cubes or chopped ice as possible. Let me move this out of the way a little bit so I can fit this in better. Pour about a half a cup of table or rock salt. Replace cap and turn on tightly. Place the cylinder in the ice creamer. See illustration three. Close the cover. All right, this is illustration three. So you're putting it back in. Now turn the handle for about two minutes. This is to thoroughly mix the salt and ice. Your ice creamer is now ready to freeze your mix. Make sure scoop is in down position. So you're turning it for a couple minutes. Then you pour in a quarter cup of mix. Use measuring cup if possible into the slot of the cover. So that's on the top. Illustration four. Turn handle clockwise until the mix is frozen on the surface of the cylinder. This will take 30 to 60 seconds depending on the mix used. Ice is made with soft drinks or fruit drinks such as lemonade will take about 30 seconds. Ice cream made with mixes such as junket freezing mix, which I've used many times on video, will take about 60 seconds. See illustration five. Place paper cup in recess under scoop. Push handle of scoop up until the edge of the scoop touches the metal cylinder. With the other hand grasping rim of handle, so you're kind of holding this all here. Turn handle toward you as shown in illustration six. Frozen mix will flow down scoop into paper cup. You are now ready to freeze another batch of mix. Pour a quarter cup of mix into the machine and repeat the above. A fill of ice and salt should freeze about five batches of mix. Important, when finished with the ice cream, rinse all parts with clear water. Take particular care to roughly rinse the inside, thoroughly, not roughly, thoroughly rinse the inside of the cylinder. Dry all parts with a towel. Cylinder should be stored with a cap off so that the inside will dry by itself. Your frosty ice cream will make ice creams, sherbets, chocolate and pudding mixes. Mix with milk as directed on package and is ready for your ice creamer. Fruit drinks such as lemonade, fruit punch, and soft drinks can be used to make very delicious ices. And I think that's what I'm going to do today. The following are mixes and drinks that can be frozen with your ice creamer. Ice cream mixes, chunked freezing mix, add one and a half cups of milk. Whole mix can be used, add beaten whole egg to one and a half cups of milk, add teaspoon vanilla flavoring, and two tablespoons of sugar. Beat well. Now nowadays, they probably wouldn't want, they don't want you to use a whole egg uh, for obvious reasons, uh, but you can. A lot of people still use eggs when making ice cream. So you can use the junket for sherbets. Chocolate frosts. Hershey, Nestle, Bosco, Cocoa Marsh, and other chocolate powders and syrups can be used to make delicious frozen chocolate frosts. Simply follow directions to make a chocolate drink and then freeze. Okay, interesting. Ice is Italian lemon ice. Use lemonade with an extra teaspoon of sugar per cup. Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and other soft drinks. Pour from bottle. Frozen puddings. My Mighty fine royal jello junket. Just follow directions on package. All right, uh, let me do this. Uh, let me show you this real quick, because I've never really seen this before. It's a cool shake. Makes two tall glasses. It just looks like a chocolate flavoring packet. Now, it didn't say this came with the set, so that's why I was wondering if someone had put these in here. It says free with purchase of two at regular price. Oh, one package free with purchase of two at regular price. And there's kind of a date here, but it's hard to read. Try all three delicious flavors. Chocolate imitation strawberry vanilla. Another fine product of General Foods. They're cool vintage packets, though, so I'll probably keep them with the set or put them in my other collections of stuff like this. They don't really go with it, but I'll find a use for it. All right, so let's do this. Let me gather the supplies and get started, and we'll make some... Uh, right now, we're going to make the ice. The Italian lemon ice. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm just getting finished up. Now, this doesn't actually touch the ice cream on the inside, so I wasn't too worried about that. And then this doesn't touch the ice cream either. So here we go. So we want to fill this with cubes. Or crushed ice. It was my option. Now some of these say to put some water in there as well, like a tablespoon to of water. This one didn't say that. And that kind of helps with kind of loosening up the ice. Make a little more room in there.
Now, I like I said, I've done this kind of system many times on video. And it's just a really neat process. I think one of the first ones I did was a circus maker. At least that's what it was called, something like that. Okay, I'd say that's pretty good. I have to still squeeze the salt a half a cup and make a little room. Okay, that should just do that. Let's get this in here. And I use ice cream salt. It's a much thicker salt that you would not cook with. It's almost like the salt that they put on the streets when they're trying to take care of the snow. All right, so it's a half a cup of this. Let me just double check, always double check. A half a cup of table rock salt, replace cap and tighten, okay. I lost a few granules. Now we definitely don't want granules in there because that's where the actual mixture goes. Okay, we'll clear it out. We dropped a small amount here. All right, let me put that in. It's really tight. I mean, I've got a lot in there. Ooh, no, all right. They don't make it so that it stands. It really, let me see. Yeah, even with this on, it won't stand. So you kind of just gotta either have a second person or carefully. Carefully, very carefully work with this. Okay, then tighten really tight. Okay, we'll just wipe this out just for added precaution. That little, there was a little black spot, it almost looks like a Sharpie. I could not get that out. Now it's just general cleaning, so whatever it is, it's part of the plastic. Now this should go in here, this should spin. Okay, it does, that's working good. All right. Okay, that's good, that's good. All right, let's get the measuring cup in here. It was a half a cup, if I remember correctly. Wait, where does it say? Oh, yeah. So it says, okay, then I pour a quarter cup of mix. Use your measuring cup if possible in the slot. So I need, so I can make it a double batch. So it says, use a lemonade with an extra teaspoon of sugar per cup. So let me do... Let me just do a cup to start. Ooh, lemonade smells good. Okay. Let me grab my teaspoon. Okay. Extra teaspoon of sugar. I got this huge sugar jar. <laughs> it was the nearest one. Extra teaspoon per cup. And we're only pouring in a quarter cup at a time. All right, let's mix that. All right. Let's get this set. Now we need this here. This will eventually go here. We don't need it right away because there's going to be some time. Remember, 30 seconds is what it's going to take. All right, quarter cup. Let me just grab another little quarter cupper. This way we know when we're precise. Okay, so this is a cool little measuring cup. One of my favorites actually that I've used a lot. 
it says tablespoons up here, then you have ounces, then you have milliliters, then you have cups, all in one little measuring cup. And the most it does is a quarter cup. Which is not a lot. All right, so we're gonna turn this a little bit here just to get the process going. in. Here we go. All right. Now watch closely. Now we want to watch right up there. You're going to start to see it stick to the cylinder. It's on there just because it's a uh, uh, light color and the cylinder's a light color and everything's a light color. It's hard to see, but it's there. Okay, the only way to know for sure now is to hold this up. We'll just twist it back just a little and see if anything scrapes off yet. Okay, there is just a there's a tiny bit coming through. It's right there. Can you see it? Barely. It's coming out. So I'm gonna mix it a little bit longer. It's not enough for a super tasty treat yet. Oh wait, this flipped. But now more is ready to come out. So let's see if we can get at least some in the cup. Okay, let's use this little spoon to get the ice down. All right, so now you're just gonna keep going. Let me pour a little more in. Another quarter cup. Here we go. I feel like there's a lot more ice. Oh, there is. Look at that. Okay, so what we have is a jam, an ice jam. Because I noticed that when I poured, here, we can just do it this way, too. When I poured, there was, um, it was coming out this end when it shouldn't. That's because of the jam. It's building up pretty good now. Here we go. See, what I think's happening is it's it's coming back and going back in the mix. Oh, that's quite a bit now. Look at that. 
That's pretty good. That's enough to try, isn't it? I just want to kind of force it along. There we go. That's definitely enough to try. Ooh, let me use this. This will help. Okay. Let me get my spoon and we'll give it a taste. All right. The taste of the lemonade. Or Italian ice, they call it. Let's try. Ooh, that is good. Very lemony. Extra sweet because now I've added sugar to it. And what I should do is probably just try like a... You know what? I think I have a can of orange crush somewhere. Maybe orange would be good. Then we could see it better. All right, let me do that. I'll clean this up a little bit. Come back. Let's see how much is in here. It's very cold. There's almost no liquid in there. So now if you notice, there is some on the side. So you can do some cleanup, if you know what I mean. Taste it as you're cleaning, but there's no more liquid. So it worked pretty good. I think I'll get that orange crush and see how that works. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm bringing you back in and I'm still cleaning up. I guess sometimes I show you. I've actually been to the sink and shown the washing part because some people say, did you really wash that? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. This is just water, so no big deal. All right, so I'm going to bring in one of my little cups just so I don't have to waste one of those uh, paper cups, the original ones. I want to do at least one with the original cup. And I want to refill this. Here, maybe if I set it here. Oh, perfect. See, that's... There's a learning process. Now, it said it can make more, but I figured, let me just top it off. Make sure I've got enough in there. Let me do this first this time, though. I'm going to put a little more salt, probably a quarter cup. I'm going to top this off with some ice chunks. Still quite a bit in there. Ooh, one flew. One flew. And then I thought, well, orange and whipping cream, like a, a creamsicle, isn't that what they're called? Might be a good combo. Okay. Get my camera right here. So I was thinking maybe three quarters of a cup of this and a quarter cup of this. It's a brand new one. Ooh, that looks good. It reminded me because I had eating those creamsicle um, jelly beans for Easter. And they were pretty good, so I'm thinking, why not? Why not try something different? Okay, so quarter cup of this creation. Ooh, that looks good. Alright, this time I'm going to, I'll use this, but then I'm going to open it because it's just so much cooler to watch the process. Alright, this is all the way over here. Like I said, I just came back from the sink and I said, well, let's just start the video. Okay, right away, it's already sticking to the top of that. Uh, let's open it. Now 
Now you can see the orange. I can't go this way because it wants to come up because I have the lid off. It's harder to do, so that's why I'm doing it this way. Let's go slow. Slow. We want it to stick. And I mean really stick good. And it is. I can look inside there. Most of the liquid is already gone. It's stuck to this canister. So let's bring the camera in way down. Let's see now if we get a better look at this press. Oh, look at that. Yeah, not as cool as that. That's what you want. A nice smooth retrieval of your... That was perfect. All right. I mean, it has the consistency of ice cream. Another quarter cup. Let's get back to work. Remember, it said 30 seconds, 30 to 60 seconds, so inside, there is some there, but not a lot, so most of it is stuck now to this. All right, here we go. This time we'll, we've seen the top view. Let's go from this angle. Here we go. You ready? It's like it gets stuck. Stuck. You gotta you gotta guide it along or it all goes backwards. Oh, there's so much on the sides. Okay. Oh, I'm so tempted. I wanna lick the spoon. There we go. We got it this time. It's like a sheet. Ooh, don't stop now. Little back pressure. Perfect. Okay, that's a good healthy amount. All right, so let's do this. Let me move the camera back just a little. Let's immerse ourselves into the ice cream shop with the rest of the group. We're all just relaxing and hanging out. Let's get this out of the way. We'll come right in now. Let's pretend like we're all sitting here Everybody's having fun. They're excited. They're about to try and then from the back of the counter, I Here you go, sir. Oh, well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Well, thank you, too. Thank you for your service of this delicious looking ice cream. Mm-hmm. Does it taste like a creamsicle? No. Does it taste like something I made? Yes. <laughs> It's, it's, it's pretty good, actually. The consistency is really nice. Look, it holds itself. So, it's very much like an ice cream. And I keep eating it, but either way, generally speaking, it works great. What you put in it is really up to you. Uh, let me clean up a little. I'll come back. Let me wrap it up with you. All right, there you go. I wanted to bring that back in. I changed my camera angle slightly just because I didn't like the angle. And I had raised it earlier and never reset the leg, so now I can give you a closer shot. 
Overall, I'm going to say uh, it worked great. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I had fun making it. Now, I put a snippet of that other video, but if you can and you have time, go check it out so you can see how that one worked. Flavor-wise, it just needs a little more orange flavor, so maybe a little less of the cream. Like an eighth of a cup would have been better, but I think you get the idea. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, I'll put a playlist for all of my maker sets like this. There are a ton. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.